This morning, a video of a battle that was making the rounds online made Travis Scott and Tyga extremely popular. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. All in all, it was said that Travis and Tyga were involved in the altercation, which happened in Cannes. As it happens, Tyga was not there throughout the altercation. Actually, the people who started the major brawl were his assistants. At Richie Akiva's party, Travis Scott and Tyga were both behind the DJ booth. Akiva once announced, we got T. Rawa, A. E., and Travis in the building, while holding the microphone. Then Travis lost his cool and broke the microphone before heading out of the booth. When this occurred, Alexandra E. Edwards was nearby and attempted to calm Travis down. But Scott went back to fetch Southside, the producer, and came back. When Southside and A.E. finally got into a fight, Scott broke up it, sending A.E. and himself fighting all over the stage. According to reports, Tyga was behind the DJ booth when all of this was happening, but his assistants helped A.E. where they kept Scott at bay. After the fight, everyone appeared to be alright, though Akiva was understandably upset about what happened at his own party which was meant to be a happy occasion but turned violent. Tyga and A stayed at the party until the wee hours of the morning. The woman knows what happened. I know what happened. Regarding the now viral video of her fighting with the security guard on the Cannes red carpet, Kelly Rowland is speaking out. Footage of the Destiny's Child singer getting into a heated argument with an event staff member surfaced on Tuesday, May 21st. I have a boundary. I stand by those boundaries. The next day, at another Cannes event, Kelly discussed the incident with the Associated Press, explaining that her boundaries had been broken and she would not put up with it. And there were other women that attended that carpet not quite looked like me. And I stood my ground and she felt like she had to stand hers, but I stood my ground. And that was it. Roland seemed offended by the gesture, frowning and reprimanding the worker in front of the entire group with her left index finger. Now, an insider has told the Daily Mail that the actress had had it with the staff. The people who are assigned to helping stars walk the red carpet were being aggressive, and Kelly was trying to ignore it, an insider claimed. By the time Roland got to the last woman she had had it because she scolded Kelly and told her to move when she was trying to wave to fans and help the paparazzi get their shot. The source added that the Mikulpa actress wanted to set a clear boundary with the security staffer. She doesn't care if she comes across like a diva if she knows that she is advocating for herself, the insider explained. She isn't fake. Earlier this year, the Bootalicious singer was accused of acting like a diva after she left the Today Show set because the dressing rooms weren't up to par. Rita Ora, a guest, then filled in as co-host at the last minute. After 28 years of knowing her, Kelly Rowland remains one of the kindest, most amiable humans I have ever met and have had the blessing to represent, Yvette Noel Schur told Entertainment Tonight in a statement Tuesday. Last week, Page Six said that the Survivor singer had left co-anchor Hoda Kopp behind, claiming that her dressing room wasn't up to par. Kelly and her team were not happy. They did not like the dressing room, so they decided to pull her off the show, leaving Kopp without a guest host for the 10 a.m. hour, a source familiar with the situation told us. Employees of today were shocked by Roland's abrupt exit because she was beloved by the audience, and was scheduled to co-host an hour-long segment with the biggest hype woman, Hoda Kot. At the final minute, 43-year-old Roland's replacement, British singer Rita Ora, acknowledged that she had only a few minutes to prepare. I have great love and admiration for Kelly Rowland. Mm -hmm. I adore her. In an attempt to diffuse the tension around Rowland's exit, Kot, 59, chose to congratulate the artist on Tuesday's Today Show. And I want her to come back on our show. And, and I, want I want her to host again, Kopp said on Today with Hoda and Jenna. Roland was scheduled to replace Kopp as co-host last Thursday. Jenna Bush-Hager, who had taken the day off, concurred that the singer is welcome anytime, adding, she's the best. The author of I Really Needed This Today even proposed to let Roland use her dressing room. She can share my dressing room. We'll be in it together. Kopp chuckled as he spoke. Real Housewives of New York City alum Bethany Frankel criticized Roland's diva expectations notwithstanding Kopp's optimistic assessment of the experience. The dressing room wasn't up to par. She was co-hosting with Hoda. Kelly is correct that the dressing rooms are small, the catering is terrible, and the makeup area is shared. But Bethany Frankel quickly corrected her and said that none of that was important. That is not about fancy dressing rooms. Some fans on the internet are pointing out that Frankel referred to the show as an institution in entertainment and stated it was an honor to simply be there with Hoda before concluding that it was not the time for diva expectations. The moment for diva expectations. In the past, Bethany posted a video of her own tour of the Today backstage area. Yet, even in that tape, Frankel expressed her gratitude for simply being on the show. Since then, Bethany has removed the video from her social media sites, and she has received a lot of backlash for criticizing the former Destiny's Child star. In anticipation of the release of her upcoming film Mia Halpa, Kelly Rowland was invited to co-host the Today Show with Hoda Kopp on Thursday, February 15, according to a recent Page Six article. 
She arrived at 8 a.m. local time, primarily for a quick discussion about the film. But it seems that she was also scheduled to co-host the show at 10 a.m. The journal was informed by an allegedly close source about the program that the Destiny's Child legend and her team allegedly fled before the second portion of this press run materialized. The cause. Apparently, the dressing room was too tiny. Kelly and her team were not happy, the alleged source remarked. They did not like the dressing room, so they decided to pull her off the show, leaving Cop without a guest host for the 10 a.m. hour. Moreover, it appears that Jennifer Lopez was already in the large green room when Kelly Rowland and her group requested for different rooms. Since she needed to market her own media, the crew simply left when they couldn't find another room, which confused the program producers greatly. She's beloved at today, another alleged source shared about the situation. She was getting the full hour, and Code is the biggest hype woman on the planet. It made no sense. Whatever transpired, it's unknown if Kelly Rowland would provide more details or if this will remain a mystery to the rumor mill. In any case, we are aware that she is not averse to correcting misconceptions and voicing her opinions. Following her grandma's address, in which Jay-Z criticized the Recording Academy for failing to present his wife Beyonce with the flowers she deserves. Following the rapper's remarks at the Grammy Awards, Kelly Rowland showered Jay-Z with accolades on Tuesday night at the Los Angeles premiere of Bob Marley, One Love. While on stage, Jay praised his wife Beyoncé and questioned why she hadn't won Album of the Year during his acceptance speech for the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award. Sean Carter is one of the greatest men I know. When his words ring so loud to me, she told Entertainment Tonight. I couldn't be more proud of him. I'm just really happy for a lot of things that he said. I think that he made a lot of artists feel very seen and very heard in those minutes that he took on stage. Moment when you go to the Grammys as a kid. I feel like she is an icon, and that's for a reason and it's because she starts trends, Roland said. She is innovative, her thoughts are big and bright and she just jumps for them and does it. I think that her albums are a reflection of that, and it should be really celebrated in that way. I'm not saying that because it's my sister, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I've seen the blood, sweat and tears that she puts into these projects, and her thoughts and her heart and her passion and her soul. During the 66th Annual Grammy Awards, Jay-Z made a jab at the Recording Academy while winning the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award. During his Sunday night acceptance of the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award at the 2024 Grammy Awards, Jay-Z lambasted the Recording Academy. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. He bemoaned that Beyonce, the most awarded performer in Grammy history, had never taken home the Album of the Year award. Most Grammys never won Album of the Year. That doesn't work. He carried his daughter Blue Ivy with him as he took the stage. Some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Jay continued. Some of you may get robbed. Some of you don't belong in the category. When I get nervous, I tell the truth. But outside of that, we gotta keep showing up. And forget the Grammys for a second. Um, just in life, you gotta keep showing up. You gotta just keep showing up until they give you those accolades you feel you deserve until they call you chairman. Until they call you a genius. Until they call you the greatest of all time. You feel me? Thank you. Over her career, Beyonce has six times contended for Album of the Year, but she has never taken home the trophy. He celebrated the victory by taking a drink from his Grammy Award after leaving the stage. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.